Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? We're just starting right now with a really huge storm. Just starting. So, you can see the highway is clear. That guy's got the right idea. <laughs> he knows what's coming. You see the highway's clear right now. She's just starting. This storm is probably going to be the biggest one we're going to get this year. It's going to be huge. There could be up to 8 to 10 inches of snow <laughs> out of this one. It is a massive, huge storm, but look at the road here. We're just going to get to some comparison shots, so when it's all over, I'll show you kind of what's happened. Um, this I'll probably have to clear anyway, so we may not get this road again, but uh, you can see it's, it's clear. But for, for instance, we'll do our <clears throat> the mailbox will collect a lot on the top. And it's just starting to collect some. And then our old walkway here will probably be about 10 inches deeper soon because this is like a I don't know if you can see it's a really fine snow really fine snow so it's gonna build up really fast so a shot of what's coming down here so yeah crazy eh this is gonna be awesome <laughs> I'm glad I got my big plow on I actually had a problem with the big plow yesterday I was gonna do a video of it but then this storm was coming I'm like no oh, I can't don't have time got to get her fixed I actually had a um, to drag the recycle bin down here if the guy's out today. I actually had a uh, <clears throat> uh, one of the lines blow on it. The lines for uh, left and right turn angling for the blade. Just got two pushes done yesterday and then <laughs> I'm like oh no I did the whole place with it though <laughs> but I had to leave it turned angled so I could angle everything off but the problem was every time you hit something it would psh, psh. so I went up to uh, good old John Deere there and uh, they had the one fitting but not the other one for the actual coupler <clears throat> that goes onto the tractor so I uh, got temporarily fixed with the same hoses I wanted new hoses you know because these are a single wire that I got on here and he says oh we all, everybody uses double wire now so I'm like oh well okay so <coughs> he's gonna order those in I'll get them done probably next week so hopefully it doesn't blow again shouldn't <laughs> but you never know but anyways my truck is already still buried so that's you know I do much about that but uh, I'll say her car for instance it's pretty clean right now it won't be long <laughs> anyways the road's are already getting covered. Holy cow, this is going to be a big storm. I'll uh, take a video of some of the uh, radar currently and jam it onto here too. And uh, hopefully I can do that and uh, show you what <clears throat> what's coming this way anyways. Wouldn't want to be a truck driver today. All right, this is a Colorado low coming up here. Now we're uh, just up a little bit up Toronto there, but I got it out zoomed out so far because it's such a huge storm. So it's just starting to come on us now. And I'll zoom in on another shot here. So you can see the time shots here. But it's just going to keep pushing up into us, I think, all day here. So could get a fair chunk of snow here, perhaps. Fair chunk of snow. So if we... Uh, you can see it's right down to Mexico right now. <laughs> right down to Mexico, right up to us. That's a pretty big storm. And like I, I think I was saying, this is a Colorado low, and I got uh, the Weather Network guy queued up here to show you and show you what a Colorado low is. So there you can see we're just like up in here somewhere. It's supposed to be uh, some freezing pellets too come out of this. So yeah, it may, if it keeps tracking the way it was, it actually might be over by about one o'clock two o'clock ish and that might be it if this other part of it keeps down southeast of us here so unless this stuff down here pushes up more it's going to maybe just go right up the shoreline here but uh, let's bring up uh what this colorado low is so you know what, what we're talking about 
This is the story of the Colorado low. Born out of Colorado, these winter snowmakers can be very problematic, but they also occur in the shoulder seasons, fall and spring. As we move towards the cold season winter, the north is dark, and that cold air spreads to the south in great trough lines. That also forces the jet stream further to the south as well. This will allow the incubation of deep areas of low pressure where the temperature gradient is greatest, generally just east of the Rockies near Colorado. These lows, as they move eastward and deepen, draw a healthy amount of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. That's why in the winter, they can be such impressive snowmakers. There but you in go. shoulder seasons, spring and fall, when you're working with very divergent temperatures, these are also potent and dangerous uh -huh. storms as well. It's going to be windy today too, apparently. Oh well, we'll check her out later. Well, here's an update, lunchtime-ish, about noon-ish. Uh, we've got about two inches, maybe. Actually, we didn't get as much as I thought, but uh, you can see the road out there is still moving, but she is covered in crap. Oh, there's my friend. Look at that for timing. He's got quite a plow going there. There's a fair bit of snow on the road. So he'll come to our gate and then swoosh off and then back all the way up to the neighbors. Yeah, I see what he's doing. And then swoosh off kind of thing, and then I gotta kind of clean up the rest of his mess, so. Unless he goes right through, which he's just swooshing off by the gate there. Oh, I see what he's done, and then he'll just back up and do another swoosh into the bush more. Good idea there, bud. Oh, I got that for time in, eh? Sweet. Pretty good guys around here. Snow plow, and they got a lot of roads to do. I don't know how many K of roads, but there's a lot. He'll back up where he swooped out there and swoop back in, and well, hopefully, actually, he's maybe gonna turn around back around. That's, why would he do it that way? That makes more sense to come down this side of the road like he did, and then back up, and then just whoop the rest of it off. But, so I don't know what he's doing now. Maybe he's just gonna do me that one swoop. Normally, they, well, from past times, they've come in through the gate, turned around, and then gone back out. It makes a lot more sense to me. This guy must be a different new guy or something. He's doing it the hard way. You know, backing up to the neighbors and then backing around and turning around. And, and he's not even going to back up to the gate. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well. It's a good thing I got my own plow. Anyways, they do a pretty good job, though. And they'll spread some stuff for me. Sweet. Well, there we go. Don't take out the mailbox. <laughs> Sweet. He'll probably turn and go up the highway again. Man, I sure appreciated him last year. Our last big snowfall last year was all this. I don't know if you can hear it pinging off my, my coat. Ping, 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 ping. It was all that frozen pellet stuff. Oh, there was like four inches of that crap. I had a hell of a time getting out of here. I had six foot snow banks at the road there. But anyways, there we go. Well, forgot to do the final thing today, but it sounds like it's pinging again. Hi, girls. <laughs> pinging, pinging, pinging. So it must be, yeah, it's kind of warmish out. So that's not fun, but I'll give you another update maybe tomorrow or something with uh, what, how much we actually got because it's still going so but uh, anyways catch you all later thanks again for watching love Canadian weather